<clears throat> so today we're gonna do Guild War. I might upload a uh, RTA video later or maybe tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of that. So let's just kind of get right into it. Uh, here we go. So I'm curious to see if we're gonna see a lot more um, new Angelicas on defense now, but I'm not entirely. I don't know how well she is on arena on on Guild War defense. Let's so we'll take a look how we're doing. So no one's attacked me yet. Uh, last guild war, we actually got two victories here, so let's see who won. So, for some reason, he was trying to do this, and I'm, I mean, I assume because my JK say my regular key say is not faster than 270, she's exactly 270. Um, so I'm assuming he went first with Basar, and then something happened, and then they just kind of died. So, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. It's kind of hard to figure out from to, it's kind of hard to extrapolate from this. Uh, here, obviously, we kind of ran into Dark Corvus, and that just kind of destroyed us. Now, not every like not every defense in the game is like susceptible to Dark Corvus, but um, as it turns out, what I had here is pretty susceptible. So, I think what I'm going to try to do now is um, swap that made Chloe for the um, yeah, maybe swap her out for the what's her name, the Little Queen Charlotte. Um, so hopefully that might make things a little better because not only that it'll give these two 15% um, uh, damage reduction and it'll kind of threaten Dark Corvus. Now Dark Corvus isn't the biggest problem uh, we'll probably see in the other one you know they tried a different team and maybe that didn't work out so well um, <clears throat> but I do think he's definitely a problem and this isn't a very like new Angelica friendly comp right so if they bring new Angelica in here she's gonna get silenced and unbuffabled that's not that big a deal because she relies on her S2 anyways, and that's just a passive like hitting everybody all the time constantly. Uh, he, uh, his problem is that he's going to, um, like, again, un unbuffable isn't that big a deal. Um, and he's usually S1ing anyway because he's, he's he exists on counterattacks and dodging. So even if he gets those two buffs on him, he'll probably dodge still, rotate back to his first uh, turn, and then he'll have the unbuffable, and then he'll just cleanse it with the... With the apple and then proceed to do whatever he was going to do from there anyway right so it's not that big a deal um but i need to replace this with something um yeah i have to think about that for for a bit um but let's go see how we beat this person so one of the one of the problems i don't know how you lost this but one of the problems that i kind of see with this with this comp um specifically is you can very easily just landy this um i don't know why i didn't see it earlier so i gotta like fix this he has landy obviously he has landy right here so i don't know why he didn't bring landy to this um, but yeah, like any, anytime you see like a protect the landy comp or, or not protect, well, I mean, that's kind of what I was getting to, but anytime you see a protect the, um, protect the strays comp or protect the, the, obviously as you can see here, protect the, um, S10A comp. Um, so anytime you see like a protect this one unit comp, like landy works there pretty well, especially against this team because there's no fire to check her, right? So that's kind of something to keep in mind, uh, for most of you. How this person lost this, I have no idea. Um. This, yeah, this shouldn't have really happened because, like, S10A, S10 is another good option, too, because she can just S1 or S, S3 stun one of them uh, and then go from there and, like, not that big a deal. But I guess the revive and the attack buff from her was just too much to deal with, so I don't know. Uh, down here, I think, presumably, she hit him, and then after that, he didn't have any S3 to do, so he was just kind of worthless. Uh, and then even the revival, like, these buffs probably just ended up killing them because he probably took his turn at some point, killed her, and then she cycled back around S3'd, or S2'd, and then she S3'd, and then they just kept cycling and destroying them because, again, like, it's hard to bring Maid Chloe into, like, I don't know why you would bring Maid Chloe into Landy at all because that's kind of going to get you murdered most of the time. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, take it as they will. Uh, so let's go back and... Uh, talk about who we're gonna attack here so we're attacking early so theoretically we should be able to like um, attack these towers which I'm probably gonna do just cuz uh, why not I mean usually you just want to kind of attack uh, um, usually you kind of want to just attack them when they're about to fall over but let's let's be let's be nice to everyone and then uh, and get ourselves in there so this first comp I'm kind of liking um, Mercedes into this because Mercedes can S2 and then hit the, the Rylet 
or the violet and, and do whatever she's gonna do from there um maybe we'll take you maybe should i just take a whole fire team into this this doesn't seem like a good idea yeah probably not i'm just gonna take uh where are you we're gonna take you this shouldn't be too bad hopefully yeah hopefully it isn't too bad so we're gonna take that uh theoretically we're gonna s3 with him uh proc her whatever she's gonna slash everyone um they'll have immunity the, the the main thing i wanted was just immunity to make sure that okay um which i don't know it depends on how fast she is because i what i should probably bring in this situation is her because she gives out immunity as well but um she's like i don't know what speed she is right now i don't really feel like checking because the emulator kind of makes that a pain um ideally what i could also bring is like a landy i could just landy this comp uh, this right here is going to be a huge pain. Um, what I think, but what, what I think we're going to do down here is something kind of simple. The best comps are usually the simplest comps. Uh, so we're just going to go with you, uh, you, and where is he? And you. Okay. We're just going to try this. Um, hopefully this works. Um, this, these are at least very interesting. I mean, like I said, I could just land you this, and I could just like double crowd this you know whatever it's not that big a deal but i do still want to try this um just because it looks like fun uh, obviously uh lr crowd isn't very good in this top comp because like she's the only one that's got aoe um but that's all right it's not that big a deal so we didn't take the barrier off of her, which is expected, so that's fine. I want this... I'm gonna I'm gonna save Soulburn so, for when she gets the, um... And... I, her burns won't kill her, but they'll do a decent amount of damage, which is good. And he, he's targeting the crowd, which is fine. I've been kind of tired of bringing all fires into Violets, because... He just keeps hitting fires all the time anyway. It's annoying. So, just kind of figured, eh, whatever. Uh, okay. So that's fine. Okay, so this is not fine. This is actually going to be a lot of damage. Um, yeah, as you can see. Uh, so we're just going to hit with this. So I think the, the, the gab that she got might have kind of, like, not... 100% kill this, but I mean that that certainly is not helping um, So let's see if he kills the crow. Yeah, he's dead. Do I want to just leave? No, I'll just leave it. I mean, crow's fine Okay, she won't counter for whatever reason <laughs> Okay so now, hopefully we can just kill you. Come on, just die, please. Yes, okay, she's dead. Um, so we are going to do this. Just because at this point, the S3, sure, the S3 will do damage. See what I mean? Like, he just keeps creating a fire, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, the point being that uh, at this point, uh, the, S the S2 would have given her more chance to cycle. Let's see. And get to their S3 fast so she can cycle and give uh, carrot the S3, but uh, obviously that wasn't the case. Okay, so we're gonna take this, and we're dead. So I should have just left. Um, which that kind of sucks. Like I said, I probably could have beaten that with like a Landy or something. Uh, Land, like if I had taken like Landy, maybe um, uh, made Chloe and uh, what's her name, the other one, um, my own, what's her name. I don't know, sorry, I'm just like, terrible with names. Um, if I had taken my own, uh, uh, FCC, there we go. If I had taken her, then I think that would have been fine there, but. So she's gonna S3, she's gonna hit Zerato, and Zerato's gonna transfer them back before they blow up, yeah. So, no one got bombed, which is good. And we got, now we got our gab, so, uh, we turned out fine on the bottom one, I think. And we got the cleanse on the S1 for Zerato, so there you go. Uh, not much more you could ask from that. Um, I 
don't know who to kill here. I guess I'll just kill you. Well, yeah, we'll just kill you. Um, but yeah, that top team was kind of like, like I said, even going in before it had happened, I knew it was gonna, it was a mistake. So, um, it's not that big a deal, really. And I'm gonna pause this right now, real quick. I think this comp, this comp is kind of interesting what they had here because I mean, obviously, the Cerise is gonna strip, then she's gonna do her thing, and then there you go, bombs, right? And then she's gonna push everyone up, and she's gonna take her turn and bomb and just nuke them. But the problem is, she's not very good on on defense because she can't soul burn, which means you're losing like half of what her S1 does. Um, and then you can't control when like the bombs are going or what's going on with that. So it's like, I don't know. I, said, I could see the idea, but it's not. I think she would have been, this person would have been much better served with like anything else. Uh, so that was, we lost three units, three actually very strong units that we um, shouldn't have lost so carelessly, but it is what it is. Again, so here's the same comp. Let's try, let's try this again up here. Um, the, the, obviously the, um, this person here is going to give us a lot of trouble, the, the A-Ravi, but let's see what we can do. Um, do we have any defense break that could be good for her? Yeah, you know what, I'm probably going to bring in, um, Rem down here instead. No, actually, yeah, I, I need to bring her there. Um, so this comp down here has new Angie, so let's try to counter her with, like, some of the, the counters that I mentioned earlier. Um... Let's bring you. Uh, I'm gonna bring. Uh, we'll bring Politus into this, and we'll bring someone else. Let's see who do we bring? I do kind of want to bring um, T Cern into this bottom one, but I guess we can't. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll bring you. Granted, like I said, she he, uh, he can't counter her S3, but it doesn't really. That doesn't really matter because you can still counter these two. Hopefully my um, Politus has enough to survive this uh, this uh, key, this blue key save, but we'll, we'll find out. Oh, this is bad. How did that go last time? I don't remember. Oh, he put the bombs on... T Surin, yeah, so I put the bombs on T Surin, so T Surin like cleansed it. It wasn't that big a deal. Um, okay, so yeah, that, that makes things a lot worse. Uh, let's just, we have to crack this because she's uh, low on HP. Uh, so she's gonna bomb uh, the other guy there. Uh, which we don't get his S3 off, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. That'd be funny if, like, she detonates the bombs and then, like, um... I don't know why she didn't... Oh, that's because she got hit. Yeah, that's fine. Um... This is bad because she won't heal enough to get over 50% and she's about to go and she's gonna hit her. So I guess there's not much to do but just, like, hit you. Yeah, she's gonna die. So we're gonna lose T-Siren right now. Yeah. And, of course... So I should have killed her, but whatever. So I think we're gonna we're gonna lose here because now we don't have um, we don't have any way to deal damage to the um, A Ravi because she doesn't have any debuffs on her S one and she's just gonna keep reducing our um, our HP bar because she's taking too many turns. So we lost this one here. Um, what could I have brought here otherwise? Hmm, I probably could have just brought like Dilly Bat or something, but. Um, yeah, so he's gonna hit Politus. Let's see if she can kill her. She couldn't. So she's resetting her S3. Does that reset the S2? I'm not sure. Because I needed the S2 for this. Okay, so I hit her, which is kind of dumb. So she the, the reason she did that is because she has that random art artifact, which I still haven't changed out. But it pisses me off because, like, I could have hit any of those two units and this would have been worth it. Um, but she hit neither, and I just got screwed over. So obviously that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And we still might, we still probably might win just because um, this guy here is kind of ridiculous. So she's an S2, which is fine. Uh, of course she hit the one other unit, so... Uh, we're just losing RNG, like, left and right here. Um, this is the first time we actually get RNG good for us, so... And here's the, you know, here's the second time. Uh, let's 
hit. I'm gonna hit her because she's gonna S1 me and she's not gonna hit me no matter what. So this one I can S3 her and be fine. So we won just because um, Violet's basically Violet. Um, but we lost every single RNG we could have lost in that uh, exchange there. Um, which, that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, it is, what, what's this, what is this, like, the best players um, win despite, in spite of RNG, not because of it, so. Um, that just means we gotta improve our, our like, ooh, this is gonna be tough. That just means we have to improve our, uh, I'm just gonna bring Ram into this, because Ram counters um, Charlotte, like, unbelievably hard. It's gonna be Ram... Uh, we're gonna bring um, I wish I had my new Angelica uh, merged that'd be very helpful honestly um, Rem we're bringing Rem and we're bringing I'm gonna bring SSB actually well that's a lot of AOE so let's just bring you uh, and then we're gonna bring where is what's like a good uh, Tank. I guess I just fall in CC is like the best tank I can put here. Okay, so that, that'll be fine. Um, next, we're going to go down here. Oh, this is that same team from last time. So actually, I'm going to take you into this and see what happens. Um, <clears throat> we're taking you again because I'm dumb. Um, should we bring... I kind of want to bring ML Ken just to have him like hit people, but she doesn't crit, so that's not really that going to do very much. Uh, we'll bring you. Yeah, we'll bring you. Um, yeah, I think that's that's pretty good. We'll see how this goes. Um, do I have high hopes for it? Not really, but uh, yeah. Actually, you know who else we could bring? We could bring Amelia. Yeah, we could bring Amelia and then have her like cleanse or do whatever. But yeah, we'll we'll see how this goes. Up here, she's gonna be a problem because we don't have uh, enough. To, like we don't have anything to deal with her, but. Hopefully we get enough damage out of the Rem and the and the Kisei that we can just kill her. Hopefully some we get some RNG, but um, kind of doubtful as always. Um, I kind of want to hit her, but usually they're built with enough effect resistance to like resist her, so that's not really that good an idea. But there's no reason to hit her either, so this will just hit her. They're kind of slow, so that's kind of good. No, oh, she resisted all three. Okay, so that's fine. I mean, that was kind of like I said, it was kind of expected. Okay, so the only problem we're gonna have here is if that Charlotte does not miss. So if she if she hits the Kisei, she's gonna take her out of stealth, which means we're not gonna get the S2. Yep, so she didn't miss. Oh, well, actually, she didn't take her out of stealth, so that's good. Um, let's do this. So we're gonna push up that, yeah, we're gonna push her up. So we only have two turns of stealth, so we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to rip this. So as always, we don't do any damage to Charlotte for some reason. Uh, it's actually getting on my nerves though. Um, I don't know. Charlotte is strange. She just does so much damage without actually taking any damage. Now, obviously, there's the there's the Kitty Arm in here, which you know that's kind of one of the major reasons, but. I mean, look at this. She's about to get hit with a water S1 that does like insane amounts of damage when they hit against a um, when you hit against a buff unit, and she took nothing from that. Um, and then she hits a water like all the time. Okay. So the only thing I can do now is hit her with this, and hopefully she'll die or something. But I'm kind of doubtful. So, I mean, look at this. We did no damage there whatsoever. Um, we did, well, not necessarily no damage, but we did no, like, damage worth, like, worth the soul burn and the S1 there. Which, you know, is fine, but it is what it is. And we got crit, so. Uh, there's really no point in continuing. I mean, even if, we don't need these units for later, so I, I mean, I, you know, I might have, I might have quit earlier, but um, just see where it goes. So we have to figure out now. We have to figure out how to uh, fight against um, Fire Charlotte. Uh, I need to build my Fire Charlotte. I don't have uh, gear for her. Um, but even like, like I've I've put her on a 300% uh, 
350% crit damage build with like decent attack and like decent HP and decent like just all the good stats because I don't have to build as much crit because the um, the crit damage set already has that covered. Um, and even then, like she doesn't hit hard, and she's also almost like twice as squishy as um, as any other. Um, she's twice as squishy as any other like lifesteal Charlotte is kind of what really annoys me. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but it is what it is. Um, so we are going to cleanse some of this stuff off because there's no reason not to. Uh, we need to uh, just kill her, I guess. There's really no reason not to. Well, actually, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so she's taking way too much damage here. Um, okay. So she's gonna die. Yeah. She's got like twenty six thousand or twenty six hundred um uh, twenty six hundred defense, but it, as you can see there, defense doesn't mean anything. Uh, it's just a it's just a fake stat. Hopefully, I get the the defense break off, and I got none. And I didn't actually land any on even the Cerise, so that was just a humongous waste of my time. Um, so that's that's what I'm pretty happy about. <sighs> So we're losing RNG just left and right here. Like we didn't even get one of those off on her, which I wanted to I wanted to stress there. Um like she resisted both. That's like I don't know how, what percentage that is, but again, uh Violet just kind of destroys everything these days. Um but yeah, I don't know. That's like that's that's 0.15 times 1.15. I'm not sure what that is, but that's insanely low. Um so there you go. Uh, if you wanted to see me complain for about um, how long is this video? Twenty minutes. <laughs> this is the, this is the Guild War for you. Uh, so we lost a lot of RNG. We, um, I guess, let's see what what place are we in? Uh, we're in fifty six. So we're in top one hundred. So we lost a lot of RNG, and then the fact that we're in top one hundred, we kind of took these forts too casually. Uh, so up here, we kind of lost because I was being dumb uh, with one of my teams. So this one was pretty easy, I think. Which one did we win? We won. Oh, we lost this one. No, yeah, they, they lost this one. Okay, so they won this one. Uh, like I said, I should have brought something like Landy or something like that. Um, so that that one was my fault entirely. Um, this one... Uh, let's take a look here. So this one is... Uh, we should have just brought... Instead of him... I, I just kind of like bringing him into stuff, but again, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just brought um, him up here. Uh, I could have probably brought something else down here and still would have won, but we did need him for this, so I don't know. It's one or the other. Um, I gotta figure out how to deal with this comp if this comp is gonna be running around a lot because the new Ravi is kind of annoying. Um, so that one is kind of like it, we could have won it uh, if I, had, you know, probably thought about it more. Um, and lastly, this one, uh, we actually just got. There's really nothing I can do against this comp because I don't have any waters that are strong enough to deal with uh, the damage that Landy's putting out. Um, and she, like, you can't bring in right. You can't bring in like SSB against her because. As you saw with Rem, she didn't counter that much, but the counter she did do pushed her up forward and gave her just a bunch of um, fighting spirit to make her S3 do a million damage. Um, so even like with one of my best uh, water damage dealers, uh, single target water damage dealers, we can't do enough damage to to, to Charlotte anyway. So I don't know. I have to, we have to figure out. I have to figure out what to do against uh, her. And obviously we won here. Um, I probably should have replaced this with like a um, with just maybe G Perg or something. Um, but I thought I'd just figured, let's throw her in there and um, see what she does. Uh, but we won anyway, just, you know, kind of a lucky defense break off of this, and then we got to kill her with the um, with the Violet. Oh, yeah, like I said, this, this comp up here, specifically her, like, anything, if anything else was here, we probably would have won if I just, like, drafted differently. But the Fire Charlotte is not something I have the ability to deal with currently. And I think the buffs to, um, what's her name? The buffs to Luna might have been, like, a small, like, oh, we need a, you know, bring in a high damage dealing uh, water unit uh, into the game, but we'll see. So in the future, I, I mean, I have my, my water Luna, or there's there's only one Luna. I have my Luna uh, geared and all that stuff, so I guess next time we'll bring her in here. We'll probably bring in, um, like, Amelia and see if she can... She won't, she won't, There's, like, no circumstance where Luna, like, you can't build her to do enough damage to one-shot um, Charlotte, but... Hopefully we can do enough damage to maybe like someone else can do a follow up and see where we go from there. But uh, yeah, that's kind of 
it is what it is. Um, what else? Other than that, yeah, I mean, hopefully good luck on your guys' Guild Wars. Like I said, I'll probably have, I'll do some RTA right now, and we'll see where we get on that, see if we don't get uh, dumpstered. <laughs> um, so they haven't, actually, funnily enough, they haven't attacked, it looks like they haven't attacked as much yet. Well, ours is actually down. Uh, I haven't been attacked yet, which I'm probably going to lose. Like I said, someone's just going to be like, oh, I'm just going to bring Landy into this, and that's all you got to do. Um, I got three draws today, which that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, so, I mean, looks like uh, Fire Charlotte is getting a lot more use. Um, probably what I should have brought, and this is one of the things that I, I kind of annoys me because I need to go rebuild my Cerise, but I don't have the gear for her because my fastest Cerise is 272, and that's kind of like a waste of gear. Um, but that comp with uh, Fire Charlotte is just easier to control. So if you had New Angie or if you had Cerise, like it's important to realize, I don't run a lot of CC comps. Um, but if you had CC units, then you can just CC her and then do all the damage you want to do to her because you have infinite turns as long as she's not doing anything. Like one of the things about bringing the New Angie into Fire Charlotte is you can buff block her so she can't AOE anymore. And even if she does AOE, she's going to be hitting everyone procking uh, um, new Angie's s2 and then uh, boosting her up and then causing her to just like cycle like incredibly fast so she'll always be si everyone's always going to be silenced and buff blocked and that that uh, kitty arm not going to do very much uh, so in that case like I said you just want CC against something that that tanky and something that like um, that strong you just got to lock it down um, so basically it's just more encouragement for me to get my new Angie uh, leveled up I think now granted I'm probably like to, to counter stuff like that I'm probably going to get her to a usable state which is not going to be like 290 speed it's probably going to be like maybe 250 speed or something like that just to outspeed uh Landy's and um and Charlotte's and and that uh what, what's it called a bunch of like because there's a lot of like for one there's a lot of uh Elena's running around and there's a lot of Kitty Armin's running around uh and both are Crim Crimson Armin's because I think the green Armin's also just a cat too but um uh yeah crimson armin there's a lot of that invincibility stuff running around and it's really starting to get on my nerves so i think i'm just gonna build her like try to get her to two, 260 at least because then because at 260 you're also outspeeding um what's his name uh oh, i forgot what his name was already i keep i would forget everybody's name it's like as soon as i'm talking i forget all their names um to outspeed strays because strays is like 240 so if you can just outspeed him silence him and strip him and then he can't put up his invincibility that makes him like a hundred times easier to deal with so 240 he comes in nukes one person and then invincibility and then he just sits there uh they gotta wait for him to come back around to do his s2 and then by then you're probably wiped out because you lost one unit now you're about to take you know more damage off his s2 because you're only three units uh yeah so that that's kind of something to consider so like i said i just got to build my new angie i don't have the molas or anything yet but um yeah i don't I have to figure that out uh, hopefully, uh, maybe I'll do Abyss and get the 20 molas out of there. and Because uh, I'm still, I'm like 102. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how lazy I am to do PvE. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's it for today. Um, see you guys uh, when I see you. Let's uh, end on the lobby screen here.